Houston is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. talking about earlier absolutely nice pass play here the quarterback shows some guts here throwing this one into coverage but good accuracy and again great timing on the throw great concentration to pull it in and they make the stop around the 48 yard line how about the big fellas up front this line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective first down 10 yards to go ball on the 48 Takes the ball inside. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Picks up a yard of anything on that run. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. When you have accuracy like this guy, you can make all the throws. It's first and ten. Ball in the 29. He's out of bounds at the 26. Ball on the 24. Throws it. The deflection prevented them from getting any yards, and now it's fourth down. Kansas is looking to go up by three. It's up, looks long enough, and it's good. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Three nothing, Kansas. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars, in talking with them this week, Turk, it's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds at the 43-yard line. That was a nicely thrown ball with some arc on it. He's a very precise passer, and he makes it look easier than it is. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 47-yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. That brings him second and five. Mike 52. Mike 52. Right six, six, 98 six, Weasel! Six, 98 six, Weasel! Six, On the throw, incomplete pass. Third and five situation. Ball in their own 47. Here's the throw to the fullback. Tackle made around the 25-yard line. Gain of 20 yards. 
first down. First and goal. goal. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. He goes out of bounds. Round the six yard line. That brings up second and goal. We've got second and goal. Ball on the six. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. They bring him down. Well, the defense doing a great job of getting pressure on this quarterback. That time they brought the blitz. The defensive line was able to break through and come up with a big sack. This is the 12th play of this drive. Quick throw in the end zone. Touchdown. How the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. He makes the PAT. So a 12-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. The score now, 7-3. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Tackle around the 41-yard line. From their own 41 yard line. It's first down. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down around the 45 yard line. Number 23 on the tackle at the 45 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Mike Six. Red, two, three, eight. Motion, motion, motion. Heading for the corner. And they push him out at the 41 yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Up the middle for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They try to get a head start there. False start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. Go 
almost complete, and he's hit right away. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Looks like we're going to have a good game on our hands. After one, the Cougars lead it by four. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's second and ten. Ball on the 28. Easy, easy. Down at the 19. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Mike six. Mike six. Coming for a Brad, it's, a, it's a first down. And, and it's, obviously, this offense right now is trying to maintain possession, trying to get some rhythm going. And for them to be able to pick up a big first down right here allows them to continue to try to get to the position that they ultimately want to get, and that's into the end zone. Steps out of bounds at about the seven yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down right around the two yard line. Unbelievable. They can't get this offense off the field. Oh, they've been like a machine on this drive. Very methodical and efficient. And once again, they're moving the chain. They're crowding the line. And he's taken down at about the three-yard line. Loss of one yard. That brings, that brings up, up second, second and goal. goal. This is the 14th play of this drive. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. That makes it third and goal. Third and goal, and they can already taste the lead. Green 9, green 9, green 15. Got his receiver, touchdown. That'll be a big boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Green nine, green nine. Under heavy pressure. And down he goes at about the 25-yard line. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. It's third and 13. Ball on the 22. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Gets it out to the receiver, and he can't hang on. 
quarterback has to be very careful, Brad, of throwing the football into a position where the wide receiver has a chance to get his head taken off. He threw the ball there, and it made it easy for the defender to be able to separate him from the ball. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Brought down at the 43. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Kansas holds a field goal lead. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. And he's immediately tackled. Slings it. Four yards on that play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. Defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. Fourth and seven. Booming kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Houston's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game, they're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when we start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Throws complete, big loss. Loss of five there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. You know, they pick up some great yards here on the ground. you got to be wondering if the quarterback would love to have a chance to throw the football to be able to see if he could get the first down. But nonetheless, they do pick up some good yards. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. A well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think uh, the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Washed out, and he's going to get sacked. Kansas is up a field goal. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 31. Good for a game of six yards. That makes it third and 11. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 31. Three down, three down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Razor. He's under pressure. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. Number 19, the intended receiver on the play. That brings us fourth and 11. They get this one off and it's a beauty. Nice yardage on the run back. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. There's a strike complete. And they hit him in the backfield. So 
So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Easy, easy. Sting right here. Quick throw, and he's tackled at the 40-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Houston will take their second time out of the half. From their own 46-yard line. First down. And he's hit immediately. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. And he might want it all here and does. Touchdown, Cougars. And he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 66-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback. And the so our score, 14-10. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. his way to the 33-yard line. Tackle made at the 36. We played a half of football. The Cougars in front, 14-10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense pride themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out. And, and that's what we're seeing today. Just about ready to start the second half. We're gonna watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. We're about set to start things up again. Houston is up four. No biting on the play fake that time. From their own 20-yard line, second down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick strike and he drops it. Tackles. 
at the 41. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he throws it away. Second and 10. Ball on their own 41. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled around the 46 yard line. Gets it out in a hurry. That's incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. at the 39. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. He laterals, and he hits him hard at the 38-yard line. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on down. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Houston is up by four. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. That makes it second and two. Nice run there. That's a team of four on the ball. That makes it first and ten. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. Complete brought down, nothing to it. Cavalry's coming, and he is drilled at the 49-yard line. punt if he gets it where he wants it can really change the field position of this football game this one will fall incomplete and they'll fail on fourth down There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's going to come up with a sack. That brings up second and 13. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Black five, black five, blue 
He steps out at the 44. That makes us third and three. it to the 34. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Bring him down at the 23. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 23. Here we go. Go! He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Here we go, here we go. go. Slings it out there incomplete. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Kick is away, it's long enough, and it's good! Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 14-13, Houston. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Jayhawks have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team's put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. Brought down around the 31-yard line. Houston with a one-point lead. And down he goes, right around the 30. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. He scrambled. End of the third, and we've got a tight one. 14 13, Cougar. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Let's go! Quick out to his receiver. That's a great tackle at the 48. What a throw for a big gain. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Here we go! And he's immediately tackled. That is just sound, fundamental football right there, making it look so easy. Ready. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. From the 45-yard line, second down. Houston is up one. Tackle 
Pulls him hard at the 47. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He's going to go for the home run. Picked off. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. First down, 10 yards to go. All on their own 26. the stop at the 34-yard line. Yard line. Third down. March 50, March 50, March 50. Throws complete. He's hammered. That makes it fourth and inches. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He fields the punt at the 13. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Houston, up a point. And he's level at the 17. This is second and long. Third down and a long way to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Fires in a hurry. Interception. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. long here and for the defense if they get a stop they've got a great opportunity to help put this football game away less than two minutes in the fourth quarter he gets out to about the 28 yard line
He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he got it. Kansas lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Houston staff right now has got to be thinking what the defense is looking at and what they're going to be keying on. Well, the defense is going to be looking at this running back. They're going to put everybody that they can to be able to stop him and not allow him to make a, a big play. That means the offense is going to have to be able to find somebody else maybe on this drive ready to step up and maybe become the hero to be able to win this game. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Number 22 with the technical at the 31 yard line. That'll make it second and four. Quick pass. Tackle made at about the 37 yard line. First down. He's on the run. He chucks it downfield. And a great catch downfield. He's tackled around the 30 yard line. He throws left. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He makes his way to about the 22. The draw play to the running back gives him eight or nine yards. The Jayhawks will use their first time out of the half. Let's go! Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Jayhawks have played poorly all day long. That really doesn't matter right now. They played sloppy. They're not going to be happy when they go back and look at the film on Monday. But with all that being said, they still have a chance to win this game. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters is trying to get that W. Blue 19. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down right around the 46 yard line. Scrambling, and they got him. Easy, easy, square, square. That'll make it second and long. Under a minute left. Red two, green eight. Hit. down now and they need to get it down to the 36. One last play folks it's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go and he's gonna be sacked. This one's in the books. The Cougars come out on top. 17-16. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.